Well, well, well. Here's Mama Bloom's brood. kitchen of the Bloom home, we find Mama preparing an extra special dinner. Why? Well, because Sarah's boyfriend, Sidney Schiffbane, has been invited to break bread. The girls haven't arrived yet, but Papa is watching Mama avidly. Jake, what time is it? What time? <laughs> it's time to eat. Can't you wait a few minutes? Sure, I can wait. I've got to. What have we got, anyway? First, we got soup, then chicken with noodles with potatoes, two vegetables, Spinach with sweet peas. Sweet peas? You mean green peas? They're sweet. I taste them myself. And then we got something fancy. Architects with melted butter. Not architects. Artichokes. Architects build a house. I taught carpenters build a house. No, 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 Mama. First, an architect makes a picture of a house. You remember when we built the factory? First comes an architect with a piece of paper. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Blue paper with white lines on it. He called it a blue point. No, no, you mean a blueprint. I'm ashamed of you, Jake. Blueprint is a oyster. Oyster. Never mention that name in this house, Mama. I wouldn't do it. And then chocolate cake, we got it, and coffee with finger bowls. Finger bowls. Finger bowls. <laughs> finger bowls, we got to have it for that boy. It's too much trouble. If he wants to wash his hands, let him go to the bathroom like I do. He'll have finger bowls. And you'll do me a favor, Jake. Yeah? What kind of a favor? You'll please to wear your coat to the table. But, Mama, my coat is too tight to eat in. Also, Jake, remember, Sarah's very particular that you should do this. All the time that Sydney's here, Sarah, you call Sally. Sally. <laughs> and I suppose I have to call Yeti, Yvette. It's such a long name. If she wants a short name, what's the matter with either? Yetta, you can call Yetta. But so long as Sydney's here... Sarah is Sally. Sally. <laughs> Mama, hmm. does Sarah like Sydney? What do you think she invited him to dinner for, to use our plate? Of course she likes him. Hmm. And does he like our Sarah? How should I know? Well, when I get here, I'll ask him. Jake, you keep your thumbs out of her business. Yeah. Uh, Mama, what does he do this, Sydney? Works for his cousin, Mo Schiffbein, in the racket business. Mo Schiffbein. Mo Schiffbein is no good. He's a bomb. Can He's I a... help you? Uh, Mama, mm. what business is this racket business? I don't know, Jack. So many new business come up nowadays. Racket business, the racket, the racket. You know, it seems to me I've heard of it. So sure you've heard of it. Yetta says it's in all the papers. Well, if he's a cousin of Moshe Shiftbane's, he's no good. How can you say that? Fifty cousins maybe Moshe Shiftbane's got. Can all of them be no good? <laughs> Any cousin of Moshe Shiftbane's is a low life. Blood is thicker than milk. Mm. A couple cousins of yours is no good. Does it hurt you? Does it hurt you? Your uncle Ike is no good. Your sister Reba is a lady, I suppose. Your cousin Minnie's been married seven times. 
Once in Jersey City. Well, well, is it any worse in Jersey City? Is it any better? Say, is your brother a geranium? Five times he failed and has he got a cent yet? My brother's all right. Hard luck anybody can have Your it. brother's got more creditors than he's got hair on his head. Ah, you're jealous. Jealous? Me? Jealous of your brother? That muzzler, that... Jake, that, that... do me one favor. Don't call names. Yeah, the... What good will it do? Let my brother alone. All right, all right. You let my cousin Ike alone, I'll let your brother alone. All right, did I start it? Whoever started it, you stop. All right, I'll stop. Stop then. I did stop. Still, your uncle Ike is no good. No, you're starting again. All day long I work hard. I come home for a quiet dinner, and all I hear is my uncle Ike is no good. What do you want from my life? All right, all right, settled. Have it your way. My uncle Ike is no good. As long as you admit it, the matter's settled. <laughs> Uh, uh, what time is he coming this evening? I don't know. Well, as long as Sarah was inviting him to dinner, why didn't she stay home and help you fix it? Maybe she forgot. Yeah, maybe she remembered. Anyhow, I'd rather not have her. When I'm cooking, the girls drive me crazy. They want to measure everything, like in our school. Well, maybe it's our new style to measure everything. Yeah, I know, I know. I was at Mrs. Klein's for lunch last week. Everything she measures carefully. But she gets through it all tastes like hay. Well, maybe that's scientific cooking. Hmm. Which would you rather have, scientific cooking or something to eat? Hmm. Can't Sarah cook at all? She can make fried eggs if she don't drop them too hot. And if she drops them too hot? Then she can make scrambled eggs. Still, if she's having a fella here to dinner, she could come home and do something. Maybe she could. Well, why don't she then? You ask her. She's half your daughter. My side of the family was never lazy people. Your uncle likes oh, you, 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 Now you're starting again. Me starting? Never mind, never mind. Uh, let's talk about Sydney. Hmm. Quite good, do. She wants to marry him, she'll marry him. Is that so? My daughter will listen to me. Did I listen to my mother? She told me not to marry you. Ah, your mother, your mother's a fool. Who's talking about relatives now? What did I say? He asks me what he said. Sure, I'm asking you. You said my mother was a fool. All right, so I apologize. Huh. I suppose my father was a fool. Oh, no, no, your father, he was a smart fella. Mm. <laughs> well, he didn't like you either. I didn't like him. You just said he was a smart fella. Sure, sure he was a smart fella, but I didn't have to like him. My father was a very smart man. Oh, yeah, he was, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't make a living, but he was a smart fella, yeah. In a minute, I'll start with your uncle I. In a minute, I'll go crazy. I can go crazy, too. It ain't a pattern. Meanwhile, I'm having no supper. In a minute. Hold your horseshoes. I am holding my horseshoes, but can I eat horseshoes? A few minutes, and everybody will be here, and we'll all sit down. You'll wear a coat. All right, all right. If you'll give me something to eat, I'll even wear my overcoat. <laughs> Every night, we eat at 6 o'clock. Tonight, when I'm especially hungry, it's got to be 7. 7 is very stylish. For most shift beans, cousin, we've got to be stylish. For Sarah's fellow, we have to be stylish. Uh, was that the door open? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's him. He would ring the bell. That must be the girl's. Then he gets here. Don't talk to him about his cousin, I Jake. won't talk, Mom. I'll eat. Hello, Bob. Hello, Ma. Hello. Isn't Sydney here yet? Where have you been till now? Why don't you stay home and help your mother? She won't let us. How do you know? Did you try? I don't need them, Jake. Well, maybe you could set the table. All right, I'll set the table. It's set already. I better take a look and see if it's all right. Don't worry, it's all right. Sure, it's all right. Four of us and one extra. One extra shift beans, cousin. I told you it was all wrong. The forks are on the wrong side and, and no bread plates. No bread plates. <laughs> maybe they'll be arrested. And there are no salad forks. What do you expect him to eat a salad with? He could eat it with his mouth. We've got salad forks, haven't we? we got little forks. They're salad forks. Where are they? I'll get them. What do you want to bother for, Sarah? They're all wrapped up on the top shelf. Paul, will you stand on a chair and get them? Before I would stand on a chair for more shift beans, cousin, he could eat his salad with a straw. Well, I guess I'll have to do it myself. What kind of a wife will you make, Sarah? Uh, Sally, uh, Sarah. Cooking you can't, sewing you can't. All you can do is get salad for Oh, I'll get by. Say, did you tell him you can't cook? She'll learn, Jake, she'll learn. You can't learn cooking in ten minutes. When I married your mother, believe me, she was a good cook. And look at you. <laughs> you can't even make coffee. A man doesn't pick out a wife because she knows how to cook. Maybe so, Sarah, but I still wish you knew how to cook. Pop, mm. pop when Sydney's here. Please don't call me Sarah. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'll call you Sally. And, Pop, please wear your coat for dinner. My coat again. I never saw so much excitement about one meal. You'd think he was having the Prince of Wales. 
Yeah. Hurry up, Ma. Yeah. Take your apron off. I'll do it. Pa, put your coat on. Yeah. Ma, smooth your hair. Yeah, yeah. Hey, for the love of Mike, Ma, don't say please to me. All and right, if I you won't. want something, Pa, don't reach. Ask for it. Yeah, here's your coat, Pa. Come on, now, put it on. All right, all right. I'll wear my coat, but I'm warning you. After supper is over, I'm going to unbutton my vest. I don't care who's here. I'll answer it. You know, this Sydney's from a fine family. Sure, yeah. sure. The Schiff Banes, the Blue Bloods of Poland, Galicianos. What difference does it make, Jake? He's a maker of big rackets. Remember that. Mother, I, oh. this is Sidney Schiffing. Uh, pleased to meet you. You see, he said it. Said what? And uh, this is my father. Hello. Oh, Mama, right. can we have dinner? In a few minutes, Jake. Uh, sit down, Mr. Schiffing. Take a load off your shoes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How's the, oh. the racket business? And how are your cousin? Oh, business is okie dokie. What's this okie dokie? Well, Mama, different businesses have different voices. I mean, business is all very prevalent. Very prevalent. It's no use, I guess. We're talking about different things. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Sydney, uh, are you making any money? Well, I get by. Well, would you say you're making $75 a week? <laughs> or maybe 60 Or more, maybe? <laughs> Papa will have his little jug. Yeah. yeah, does he care what you're making? Oh, sure, Father's always kidding around. Sometimes people don't know how to take him, but he does love a joke, don't you, Father? How can you joke about money? Uh, <laughs> they are going to have to not just a plain meal, Sidney, uh, Mr. Shippen. We're not people for fancy food. Oh, sure, I like plain food myself. Hmm. Usually I'm cooking the dinner, but today my Sally he insisted that she should cook everything herself. As a special honor to you, Mr. Shiftbane. Oh, gee, that's swell. Oh, that's all right. That's a shame to make you do a lot of work, Sally. My Sally don't mind it. I never seen a girl who enjoyed cooking like my Sally. Not that my Yvette can't cook, too. Oh, yeah, she's just as good a cook as Sally. <laughs> oh, sometimes, honest, you wouldn't believe me. It's practically a fight in a refined way. <laughs> Between mine two girls to see who should cook dinner. Yeah, you should taste Sally's fried eggs. Or maybe it's scrambled eggs. So Sally cooked the dinner, huh? Every stitch of it. Can you imagine that? Well, what are we having, Sally? Why, well, I thought... Uh, 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 first you made soup, didn't you, Sally? Uh, yes, And no. Mr. Schiffen, I hate to brag. What soup like mine, Sally, makes you don't get in my restaurant. I go for a good plate of soup. Now, what kind of soup is it, Sally? Oh, tomato. Uh, she calls it tomato. Why, I could never understand. To, to me, it's chicken soup. Uh, and then we got chicken, of course, what we used in the soup. I will say for one thing, Mr. Schiffbein, Sally is very economical. And then comes with spinach and sweet peas, and then with melted butter, Sally cooked a... Uh, uh, Jake, what was it Sally cooked? Artichoke. Yeah, artichoke, yes. Yeah. And then she made our chocolate cake. It'll melt in your mouth. And not that we begrudge her eggs or anything, but she makes our cake with two eggs that you'd swear before our judge and jury she's got in it at least six eggs. Maybe eight. Oh, that's a trick. A uh, trick she knows millions with and without eggs. I'll say she's a very clever girl. <laughs> Clever's nothing. But a girl can not only cook like mine, Sally, and sew like a tailor, an expensive tailor, and darn and sweep and mend socks. I always say it'll be our very lucky fella that gets it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mother, Sydney's not interested in what I can uh -huh. do. You see, you see how modest she is. Most girls, if they could do half what mine girl could do, their mothers would talk to death about her. But I think that if a girl is smart like mine, Sally, you don't have to tell everybody. They'll find out for themselves. How was business today, Father? Ha <laughs> your papa's business is always good, Sarah. When a man is established like your father, with a reputation of high-class merchandise sold at lowest prices, how can it help but be good? Mother, everything's ready. Ah, come in, Mr. Schiffbein. Come in to supper. Dinner's ready. Uh -huh. 